another video. I hope everyone is doing okay as we are approaching the end of this long lockdown. My name is Alondra and I'm new to this platform. I have no idea where my channel is going, but hey, let's just give it a try and see what you guys would like to see from me. Okay, so today I am going to try on some items I've purchased from Everything for £5. For those of you that do not know, this is a web page where you can shop online for fashion items ranging from dresses, skirts, tops, pants, and even shoes. Yes, that is correct. You can even find shoes from a fiber ranging from different models and uh, styles. And if that's not good enough, they also have a section where you can find items for two and a half pounds or even less. Now you might be thinking that can be real. And even if it was, the items would be too much of a bad quality to be worthwhile buying. Well, I thought that myself, but for what I have seen, I'm beyond surprised. Most of the items were really a decent quality and absolutely great, while I must be honest, some of them were questionable quality. From what I can tell, there is no particular brand that they sell. They pretty much work as an outlet, but not from the famous brands like designers you would find like in TK Maxx or any other outlet store. I think everything for £5 sells variety of outdated stocks of brands that are less famous or maybe not so much of a big name, Although I've seen some people on YouTube opening and finding things like from H&M, Zara and other more famous uh, names. As you can see, you can also find some accessories like necklaces, purses, scarves, and they do have quite a large selection of them. Despite the clothing and the accessories, they also have this home and living section where you can find some items for the household like towels, some covers, and completely random items like this iPhone screen protective cover. I know many people wonder if this web page is a scam or not. For me, the first thing that gives up whether a web page is legit or not is just a glance at the models. If the pictures of the models look like they're very random, pretty much like they were taken from someone's Instagram profile, you'll know it is a scam. Here I can see the same model wearing different items. Also, on the scam web pages, usually you would not get a good close-up of the item or either a specification of the material. You'll just get one picture and a very general description. This is not the case here, and when I shopped here, I was confident that the items will be at least decent. One thing you need to be aware of is that not everything is available in all sizes, and they ran out of stock very quick. On saying that, there is new arrivals coming every maybe like three days, so there is a lot of to choose from. Now, I went crazy and spent £117 on this webpage and purchased 23 items. I'm really excited to share them with you. Okay, so on opening the box, I found this surprise. This dress came loose and with no packaging and it was absolutely dirty. So I had to quickly go and wash all the items before I tried them on. Okay, so here is the dress. It's all clean now. It is this navy swing dress that has buttons all the way down. It has cup sleeves and some embroidery on the sleeves. It is structured at the waist and has this elastic band at the back and also this tie so you can tie up your sleeves. I will put links to each individual item so you can go on the website and check for the materials because if I start talking about the materials I feel like this is just gonna take too long. Next up is these grey pants. They are more like leggings than like pants because they're this transparent material. They have no zipper. I think this is called paper bag waist and they're very stretchy and very comfortable. Now I must say I was skeptical about ordering pants because usually pants don't fit me well. They're usually even too tight around my um, hips or they're too wide around my legs. But this seemed to be fitting well. Because I cannot find pants that fit me well, I usually wear leggings. As you can see, I'm wearing them as I'm recording. These are just another pair. These are like um, shiny leggings. I think they were called disco leggings on the webpage. And at first I was thinking there is no way I could fit into them. But fortunately, they're very stretchy. They are actually more shiny than my camera is showing. I think it's just um, the natural sunlight coming to my room. It doesn't let you see how shiny they are. 
Okay, so when I saw the grey pants and the way they were fitting me, I thought that I should have waited for first to try and then just order each and every color that is available from them. But guess what? These next pants are the same fit, the same uh, material, everything is the same, the company is the same. It's just the color is white and the only difference is that they have this lace at the bottom, which makes them look a little bit more dressy than the other ones. Next is this skirt and I have a confession to make. I have a huge obsession with polka dots. I just love them and this skirt as you can see is with polka dots. It also has this mesh insert in between uh, the layers and the mesh insert is just a tiny little bit with spots as well. I don't know how much you can see but it also has this under layer that just um, covers your um, backside a little bit more so it doesn't look too much exposing I guess. So continuing on with the dresses, this is a two-piece set that comes with this very basic dress and a lovely cardigan. The dress is very light, very basic material and this was just two and a half pounds. Now when I opened this, there was a pull thread at the chest area or at the back area. I'm not sure, it's not clearly indicated which one is the front and which one is the back. I'm trying to show it to you guys on the camera but I don't know how much you can see there, that white line that's just the pool tread on the dress. But I'm not too mad about it because I would give um, that amount, like two and a half pounds, even for the cardigan, because the cardigan is a very lovely material. So the cardigan has this flower pattern and it's very soft to the touch. I think it's a cotton, actually. I think it's a cotton fabric because it just feels very soft on the touch. And it feels like I could just cuddle to it and sleep with it. Okay, so next dress is this um, short red dress. It is very structured. I can see there is some extra fabric at the hip area, which is a huge deal for me because I'm, I'm very wide at my hip area. It also has this... Um, sponges at the chest area so I guess you're not supposed to wear a bra with it and yeah it's basically very soft very smooth material I think it's a polyester because I don't know if a natural material that can be so smooth it almost feels like uh, the disco leggings okay so up next one is this multicolored dress it's a bodycon dress with the uh, long sleeves it has uh, this, I think it's flower pattern, um, blue and mostly purple. And it's very stretchy, very soft material. I was trying to show you the size for it, but I think I'm just going to have to put reference on the sizes on a picture at the end because uh, my camera is not really clear and you can't really see the sizes. Okay, we came to my favorite piece. <laughs> these are these black pants. And as I said before, because it's just so difficult for me to find pants that fit me well, when I find something that fits me so good, I feel like I won lottery. These are really cute because they have this lace at the bottom and they flare out, but just enough. They're not too wide at the um, ankle area. And they are again, like um, this almost like a legging material. Um, I would assume that this is just like cotton with some elastine blend. So what do we have next? Okay, next one is this black and white dress that has this flower uh, pattern on it. I was a little bit skeptical about this one because as you can see, it has a lot of ruffles. It has ruffles at the sleeves, it has ruffles at the bottom. I don't know, usually I like when uh, things have like extra fabric or a different fabric on them, but for some reason, for this dress, I, I wasn't too sure about it. Maybe because uh, the material is already too too much patterned and having those extra pieces on it was making it a little bit like too much. So I can't deviate too much from my polka dots. <laughs> Here it is, a midi dress that has different pattern of polka dots on it. It's a wraparound dress that has um, a tie on the side. It has three quarter sleeves and um, the length is just, um, it comes a little bit to the ankles. Okay.
Next one is this little black dress. This is a party dress. It comes a little bit short. It has this chain detail at the neck area. It feels really nice. It's a um, very soft material. It has a zipper at the back and it flares out just at the hip area. That's the company. I can only read something saying only. And it, it feels like it's, it's a very well made, but uh, we'll see how it's going to fit. Okay, next one is this um, navy blue dress. This is a cotton material, very casual dress. It has this crocheting at the top with some pearls on it. But I can already see some um, threads, again, like um, hanging out. I don't think that's the best finish uh, you can get. But other than that, because it's a cotton material, I think this can be a very good dress for the summertime just to wear it around the house or just for uh, a casual walk if you want to wear a, a dress. Okay, next one. This is a knee length uh, dress. This is a red dress and I must say I was a little bit disappointed of this one because I was expecting it to be a little bit more dull than this. As you can see on the camera, it's very shiny and it has this um, sparkles on it. They're almost like uh, glued on and I thought this was just going to be some um, thread that is going to have a little bit of shine to it. But this is just too shiny and I'm not sure when I'm supposed to wear this dress, but we'll see. Next is this black dress. It has uh, long sleeves and some details at the front. It also has a split at the front as well. And it feels like a very well made dress. And believe it or not, this was two and a half pounds. I'm really surprised by this dress because this might turn to be one of my favorite pieces that I've bought from this haul. Okay, so don't get too surprised, but this, this next one is a polka dot dress. This is actually the dress that got me to actually visit everything for five pounds because I think I saw this dress somewhere in a link suggestion and I thought that because I had a dress that was very similar to this one and it was getting a little bit old and worn and it was a time to replace it, when I saw this being five pounds, I thought I'll just give it a try because there is nothing to lose here. And then I got hooked up on the webpage. It looks like it's wrap around, but there's just uh, two panels, uh, one on top of each other, and it has uh, this tie at the waist, which I'm really excited for. Okay, next is this grey knit dress, and this comes somewhere like uh, to the ankles. It's a um, long sleeve dress, and it's very transparent. I thought it was going to be a little bit more thick material, but it's actually transparent. It has long sleeves and... Um, it feels very comfortable. There is nothing wrong with the material on it, but actually I don't think this is my favorite fit. You'll see once I put um, on the camera. Also like on the material, I don't think you can see it very clearly here on the camera, but it has a little bit of sparkle. It has this um, occasional thread that goes through it and it's a little bit more shiny than what you can see. I'll try and show it to you from the from close up but i don't think it's very visible maybe on the web page it's going to be more visible next is uh this dress this is the same company and the same fabric as the other dress that i show you the blue and the purple dress with the flowers just the fabric is a little bit different the same fit um, and the the same makes Last but not least, this is a flower dress that is off the shoulder. It has two splits at the front and two splits at the back. This came a little bit too tight for me, so I had to do alterations myself. It has a zipper at the side and um, it's very transparent material, but uh, this is a very summery dress. So uh, yeah, I'm really excited about this one. And of course, I had to purchase some shoes because I could not believe that you can actually find shoes just for five pounds. And I had to just order them and try for myself. This first pair is cream sandals. They came, um, to, both of them came in um, dust bags, packaged like that. And uh, these are just casual sandals that um, there's nothing really special to them, but uh, I need this pair of sandals so I can just uh, wear them in the summertime. They look like they're very well made and they actually look like they're going to be really comfy because when you touch the sole, it actually feels very soft and it's almost like padded. So yeah, they're very light as you can see and um, I'm really excited to try these on. Next is this black sandals. 
they have again chunky heel but this time a little bit higher and a strap at the back they actually look like they're really good make really light and I think these are gonna be really comfortable so let's skip to the try on and see how these things fit okay so here is the first dress it has a little bit of extra fabric around my waist I don't like the way it actually fits around my waist I like the way it fits around my hips and uh, I like the feel of the fabric and the material you remember that strap at the back I cut it so I can actually make a um, a uh, tie that goes around my waist because I just don't like the way it actually um, fits. So here is the tie and I'm going to try and place this on and see if it's going to be any different. I don't feel like I need this tie because I have white shoulders and big arms and the sleeves seem to be fitting me um, just fine without it. So I think this is a better look. It just gives me a little bit more of a cinched waist and uh, yeah, I could see myself wearing this dress a lot. It's very comfortable. I like how it covers my arms because I have um, big arms and uh, yeah. Okay, this dress actually looks better in person than it looks just now on the camera. I think on the camera because of the pattern it makes me look bulky. Also this uh, fabric from the inside uh, of the chest area just keeps popping out which makes it a little bit uh, uncomfortable. But I think I'll just leave it like that for now and just see what I can uh, say about this dress. It's very comfortable because there is nothing to be tight on. It uh, lies good on my uh, hips. I like the sleeves. They're really um, good length. Um, this fabric at the side seems to be popping out. I think uh, this is not the way it's supposed to be. I think this is supposed to be more like uh, inside. But I think uh, with the ironing this dress a little bit better or maybe putting a, a safety pin at there at the top is going to look better. The favorite thing about this dress is that tie on the side because I think it's a really cute detail and it makes this dress look a little bit uh, more sophisticated than it actually uh, would be without a tie. I don't like how this dress fits me. I was having a different idea. I thought this was just going to be a little bit longer, maybe come to my knees. It, because the material is so soft, I can feel my stomach is just popping out on the wrong places. And I don't think this um, gives my figure a very good fit. Also, if layers too much, I think that's partly because of um, the way my legs are. Um, my muscles are just um, a little bit wider at the front. And I feel like this is a little bit short and risky for me to be wearing it very comfortable without flashing everyone around. So I, I like the detail at the front, definitely. I think it makes it a good dress, but I don't know. Um, if I was about to get this uh, dress in a bigger uh, size, I think it was just going to be too loose around my waist because I can see there is um, some extra fabric there that makes the zipper popping up. So yeah, tell me guys what you think about this dress. It's definitely not my favorite one. Okay, so moving on, I really love this dress. I love the way it uh, makes my figure look a little bit uh, longer. I love the way it fits at the front. You can see, although it's a little bit looser material than the other dress, this one seems to be fitting a little bit more uh, better on my body. And um, my stomach is not so visible with this dress. I love the, the figure it gives me. I love the sleeve length and um, it just feels really comfortable. I feel like I could spend like 12 hours in this dress and still be comfortable about it. So yeah, I think this dress is going to be one of my favorite pieces and I'll be wearing this dress a lot. Same material, same fit, but just a different pattern. I definitely like better the other dress than this one. I think this one looks a little bit uh, different on me. It's a little bit looser for, I don't know what reason, because as far as I recall, they were the same size. I don't know, I'll check it a little bit later. It's not that I hate this dress, I just, um, it's because it has a little bit of a darker colors in it. I think it makes my stomach a little bit more visible and I just don't like that part over there. It's hugging my body a lot and uh, I feel like the other one was a little bit uh, better fitting. So yeah, like overall I do like it. I'll still wear it. Uh, but uh, between this one and the other one, just for comparison, I think the other one is a little bit better. Onto the pants. I really love these pants. They're a little bit transparent material, so you can't see it very much on the camera, but I can see all my imperfections, but I don't mind that because I bought these pants to actually wear them around the house. 
I like the way they tie up uh, at the front. And I really think that um, I'm just going to wear them a lot. I like the pockets. They have uh, pockets on the sides. I, I forgot to mention when I was presenting them. And throwing on this sweater on, I think uh, it just gives it a very good um, casual look. And I can see myself uh, wearing them a lot. They are a little bit transparent, but with the sweater at the back, I don't think someone can see my underwear. And also they have a little bit of an extra fabric at the front, but I don't mind that. As I said, I'll be wearing them mostly at home. So here's the same pants, just in white color. I really, really love them. Uh, they look a little bit more dressy because of the color and because of the lace that is at the bottom. They're really comfortable as the same as the other ones. You could see the lines of my underwear, but I think with nude color underwear underneath, this is just going to look fine. I like, again, the pockets on the sides. I, I just feel like I'll be repeating myself, but it's just the same pants and the same fit. So, yeah. One thing is that they're very stretchy and, and very comfortable, and uh, I feel great in them. Okay, so this dress is a huge disappointment. I don't like at all the way it fits. Maybe if I try wearing a shapewear underneath, maybe it's going to fit better, but it just shows everything on my body is very unforgiving material, and it has these holes at the sides. It has one hole on my right side, and then it has another bigger hole at the other side. Okay, so I've put a little bit of a shapewear underneath, and I'm going to put this belt on so I can try and give it a little bit of a look but again I'm, I'm not fascinated by the way this dress looks and the fact that I'm wearing a shapewear it just completely loses the fact that I'm actually in a dress because the shapewear that I need to wear is this um, completely long shapewear because it just shows everything and I'm just I, I don't like this dress I must be honest like I don't know what I'm gonna do with it because I don't know what I'm gonna do with these holes when I'm gonna sew them and wear this dress, but maybe just for lounging around the house, I guess, for five pounds. I mean, I don't know. I'll see what I'm going to do about it. It's not like terrible, but I just don't feel confident wearing it. I had a little bit higher expectation for this skirt. And as I tried it on like this, I don't know, I, I felt like something was missing. I definitely like the fit and I like the way it actually flares out and you can see the lace while walking. but. After putting this belt, I must say, I completely love this skirt. I'm in love with it. I really think it looks uh, very elegant and very chic. And uh, yeah, I could, uh, I could see myself wearing this a lot. Without the belt, it looks a little bit empty and I don't love it. But um, putting the belt on, I think it made a huge difference. And uh, yeah, I even like uh, the way this uh, outfit is just being now, just as it is. So here is the mini polka dot dress. I love the way this dress fits. It is a little bit longer at the back than it actually is at the front, but I think that's just the way the dress is structured. Those layers at the front, they are ending a little bit of an angle and they're not very straight. I love the way it actually ties up around the waist. I really think that that just uh, gives a little bit of a more waist definition. I love the way uh, it flares out uh, at the top. I love the sleeves. It is a little bit open at the chest area and I had to put a cami top underneath, but I don't mind it because it's not spoiling the dress look. Okay, I had my doubts about this dress. I can see a little bit of threads hanging from this dress, but after putting this on, I actually feel very comfortable. It is tight around my hips, but nothing too terrible. I just feel like um, I could uh, burst it a little bit, uh, maybe if, I, if I'm in an awkward position. But um, given the fact that this is not a dress that I'll be just going around and do stuff in it, this is more like a dressy going out dress, I think I could just um, wear this one. And it definitely fits me a little bit better than the black dress. I feel like those two are just the same uh, type of a dress. The only difference being this one has a little bit longer sleeves. So yeah, like overall, I do love this dress and I think I'll be wearing it. It's also not too open at the chest area, which makes me comfortable wearing it. So yeah, I like this one. This black dress is my favorite one. I really love the way it hugs my body. I love the sleeve blend. It actually feels like very well made. And I also love the length. It covers my knees. 
If I was about to see this dress in a store, I would give 30 pounds for this. That's how much it actually feels like it's a superior quality to everything else that I've tried on. And I can't believe that this dress was only two and a half pounds. I just can't believe it. I love the way it actually pulls my stomach in. It's a very um, tight material and I feel like uh, it just uh, gives the body a little bit of a better structure. It's also not too open at the front and uh, it just lies good at the back as well. There is no extra fabric on my waist. And yeah, I really love this one. This is my favorite one. These pants are absolutely amazing. I love the detail at the bottom. I love the high waist. I've styled them with this um, white shirt that has a little bit of a black detail at the top. And putting on a blazer like this, I think it just looks very elegant, very classy. And I could see myself wearing these pants quite a lot. After so many years struggling with pants, I cannot believe that these were just five pounds. Okay, the dress underneath is terrible. This material is very unforgiving. I just don't love the way it looks. Given the fact that this was just only two and a half pounds, I think that I would use this sweater just like uh, wearing it with uh, something else that I own. Maybe just putting a belt like this, I think it actually gives it a very cute look. I love the way it actually fits. It's very comfortable and it's just uh, for those summer nights when you feel like you need something extra on top, I think this could be a very good solution for it. So yeah, I love the sweater. I cannot say anything about the dress base. Here are the leggings. I love the way they fit. I feel like I'm saying like a lot. I love it a lot, but I really do love them. I do wear uh, leggings with a little bit longer tops, so they cover at least half of my backside. I feel more comfortable that way. So yeah, I feel um, these leggings fit quite a good. This is probably the worst item that I've ordered. I just don't like the fit. I don't like the material. It's actually very scratchy on the outside. It's not very scratchy on the inside because it has this under layer um, the dress. And it also is a little bit softer on the inside of the dress. I just don't love the color. I don't like the way it sparkles. And I just don't see use for this dress because I don't know where should I wear this dress. One thing I do like is this ruching at the front. I think it's cute, but other than that, I can't say anything about this dress. Even the opening is a little bit awkward and weird. It's not open, it's not closed, and when a dress is like that, it's just weird. The length is also weird. I feel like I need to push it all the way to my knees. It should be shorter or a little bit longer. I don't know. It's just awkward dress, and it's definitely my least favorite thing that I've ordered. Okay, even if I like that dress, which I don't, there is no way I could wear it, wear it very often because look at the area where the dress was standing. All those red sparkles, as you can see, are from the dress. This is definitely a dress that I had low expectations for, but I'm really pleasantly surprised how this fits. I love the way it falls on my body. It's a little bit um, on one side. The lace goes just on one side, but I don't mind it as... I don't see myself wearing this dress somewhere like um, on a very important event because it feels very casual, feels very light, it feels, feels very comfortable and I think this is just going to make a good summer dress. This next one, I skipped it when I was presenting the dresses because this was still drying. It has long sleeves and a little bit cut at the shoulders. Definitely uh, wear it with a strapless bra and uh, I just moved my, my straps away. I love the fit of this dress. It feels very comfortable. It feels like the softest dress in the world. It's a really nice material. I think it's um, some natural event material. So yeah, I really love uh, the way this fits. And um, I don't know, maybe this is uh, this one of those dresses that you can wear at autumn because it's a little bit more exposed for the winter time. You were getting winds in your back and at the shoulder. So yeah, maybe like a springtime dress, uh, wear it uh, when it's uh, sunny outside. Okay, so this is definitely my favorite dress. It is a little bit tight, uh, especially around the shoulders area. I feel like um, the elastic band just uh, is too much into my arm, but I really love this dress. I love the openings at the back. I really love the openings at the front. I think it looks very sexy. I don't know how often I'm gonna be able to wear this dress because it's just too tight. It doesn't even have a breathing room, but spoiler alert, I have something similar coming from another store. So stick around and Press that subscribe button if you want to see more dresses like this and if you want to see what I'm um, going to be showing you. 
uh, next time. So yeah, I, I love this dress, but uh, it's just I don't know how much use I'm going to, I'm going to get from uh, this one. Okay, so this next one, there is no way of me showing it without actually flashing everyone. I'll just put the picture from the model so you can see it on her. She's paid for it, I'm not. <laughs> but um, I don't like this dress. I mean, it's everything that was promised, but I just don't feel like I can wear this uh, anywhere because it's just too short for me. And uh, it feels like uh, making a step. It would just be an embarrassing situation. On to the shoes. These sandals are absolutely great. They're everything what I was expecting them to be. They feel very comfortable and as I said, they feel like this have, they have this padding inside the sole which makes them really soft to walk in. Next pair, I love them even more. They're definitely even nicer than I was expecting them to be. They're really comfortable. They feel like they're very good made, very sturdy. I know they're not everyone's style and they're more classic looking, but I actually love these ones. I had uh, something similar like those and I paid for them like uh, £35 if I'm not wrong. So yeah, I'm, I'm really happy how this turned out to be and I think I'm going to be wearing them a lot. Last I have these hair extensions, they're also from Everything for £5. It's just these two ponytails um, inside of a packaging. They were supposed to be clipping extensions, but I cannot see a way to actually clip this in the, in the hair. So I don't know, maybe that's why they were actually sold as a um, merge that doesn't go. They just have this cord wrap around them. And I'm trying to investigate how to clip this in, but there's just no way that that's just going to happen. See, if I pull this, there is nothing in the hair that actually uh, holds it. In fact, I'll try and open this so you can see what I actually mean. So here it is after uh, opening this, there is just this elastic band holding the hair into place. And when you open it, it's just loose hair. I mean, I, I see no way of clipping this. I don't know, maybe I'm missing something. Maybe there was a part in the packaging that was supposed to be there, but this is just uh, not usable at all. But this was just two and a half pounds, so it's not a big deal. I just wanted to see for myself if uh, this can be actually used as clipping hair extensions. Because I've worn hair extensions before and they're definitely not that cheap. Although the hair looks quite nice. So that is it for today guys. I hope you liked this video. It is a little bit longer than I was expecting, but I tried to be as short as possible. As promised, here you can find all the sizes from the items that I've ordered so you can have them as a reference. Overall, I had a very positive experience with this uh, shopping and if I had to rate this shopping experience, I would give it 8 out of 10 just because I was really pleasantly surprised by the items that arrived. Although there is some items that I would never purchase them even if I was about to see them in a store, there are definitely some items that went beyond my expectations like this black dress that I can still not believe it was two and a half pounds, this black pants and that uh, flower dress. If you like this video, give it some thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel if you want to see something similar coming in. I already have something on mind. Find me on Instagram and thank you very much for watching.